Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to do what I've been warming. <laughs> this is wax. I didn't do a warming, uh, what I've been warming video all summer, of course. I was uh, missing in action. Uh, and I just recycled my clams all summer. But uh, I think this is probably the last week in August and the first couple weeks of September here. Uh, I started collecting my basket full again, and I'm going to share it with you. I, I do a fave and a fail at the end, and for those of you who are new to my channel, a fave is sort of my favorite out of this period of time in my warming, and a fail is something that, what you know, my least favorite. Like, I, it's not always like I hate it type thing. It's more, it was my most disappointing warm, I suppose. Anyway, we'll get to that at the end. I'm gonna start with uh, non sensi wax. I do have two. Uh, these are the sensational bars. This is alluring. Uh, this one was bergamot, mahogany, amber, and palo santo. Uh, if you watched my videos regularly, you remember I hauled a stack from the Salvation Army thrift store. Uh, Walmart had, had uh, donated a whole stack of wax bars and they were selling them so cheap, I think a dollar or 75 cents each or something. Anyway, this one was so good. Uh, I warmed two cubes at a time and I just finished going through it. It's so, it's rich and, and you know, sort of uh, incense-y and creamy. That amber it was really, really nice. So I would get that one again. And then I just did this one, pumpkin cider. I hesitated to do it because I, I thought it was going to be a cidery, more of a cidery bar. And smelling it on cold, I could smell a bit of pumpkin, but that's it. But wow, when I warmed it, it was so... I did it in my kitchen with something. I can't remember. Uh, it was so, so nice. Uh, very creamy. This is crisp apple, pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and vanilla cream. And that vanilla cream, it was just so yummy. I remember walking in my kitchen thinking, oh, something smells delicious. And it was this. Um, I wa always warm, I used three cubes. I have three warmers in my kitchen. I did one cube per warmer and I use these little paper cups in the warmers because I find the wax from this hard to get out. It's a little harder. It takes a little longer to melt, but I definitely will look forward to the, doing these three cubes. Uh, yeah, it was really, really good. I would definitely haul that again if I saw it. I haven't been to that thrift store for a while. I've been too busy. <laughs> Um, then I did a couple of non-wax things. The first one is pods in Welcome Home. <laughs> These are from the winter. I did one pod. I usually only do pods in my car. I do have a Sensi Go and I use pods in my motor home as well. But these I used last winter. I put one pod in in early winter, like November, and then I switched it out, I think about February, and did the rest. And so then I tuck them away in here and I have... Uh, Wall fan diffuser plugged into my furnace room where my hot water tank and furnace is. And it's kind of a dreary little corner in my basement. And, but I thought I'm gonna, I, I got this idea from Patricia Gates. She did that and I plug it in the, just the spent pods, things that are used up, but might have a tiny little bit of scent. And they always do. They actually work in that little space. So this is going in that room now. <laughs> I do have a different pod in my car right now. I think I have Coastal Sunset and um, I'm gonna be switching out to an autumn scent. And I tucked my Scentsy Go away for now. Anyway, uh, some scent circles. I always use scent circles in my utility closet. And I did first pumpkin chai. I think I got this in a, I got it in April and it was part of a bundle of like 10 scent circles or something, you know, and. It's white pumpkin, cinnamon, and chai. It's very chai. I put it in my utility closet. Every time I open the door, I could smell, you know, pumpkin chai. It was kind of kind of odd, but, it, you know, and it didn't last super long. I think it was probably an old scent circle because pumpkin chai has been gone for a couple of seasons now. Anyway, and right now I have toasted acorn and oak in there, and this one's from the same bundle. And this is toasted acorn, creamy chestnut, and golden oak. And I have this bar in my hat club. It's one of my favorites. And it's really nice in the utility closet. It's kind of, you know, got that, uh, like a creamy chestnut oak note. It keeps it smelling 
you know, nice and in my utility closet. Anyway, that's my non-wax things. Everything else is wax. I'll start with my husband's bad cave. <laughs> He's doing a light, dark side of the forest. This is lavender, Madagascar, ginger, vetiver, and agarwood. Uh, he's been war warming this out there for ages. I just give him the bar. He puts two cubes in his warmer. He's pretty cheap about wax. He keeps it in there <laughs> forever and then switches up, put another two. So four warms and let's say he uses the two cubes a week. <laughs> so it takes a while. So that was him warming that. I have one more of these in my stash. Um, bathrooms. Uh, I did a lot of coconut cotton this summer. This is, this was in a bring back my bar. Um, well, I have February, 2022. So it was probably in 2022. Cotton, coconut milk, citrus, white sandalwood. I did uh, one and a half cubes in my bathroom. And this was actually a pretty decent performer. My bathroom, my main bath is very challenging to warm and I've just started using the alabaster mini and it's a pretty good little mini warmer but still it you know anyway this one did reasonably well in there and it's it's a nice bathroom set you know coconut cotton for the summer um I also did the same thing with the Lion King uh this one is from August of 2022 I have one more of these and I I did about I did one warming in my bedroom of this it's actually it is, let me, let me tell you what it is. Golden amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. And um, it's actually a good neutral, you know, some, like I always try to coordinate all my scents because uh, on my main floor, like you have my living room, dining room, kitchen, and then there's a foyer and then a hallway and then some rooms off the hallway and a bath. But it, things, I like to coordinate because when you have doors open, you know, scents sort of drift out a little and I want them to sort of match. <laughs> anyway, this was a good neutral when I warm things in my living room. It sort of was, you know, it's sort of like a creamy, the sandalwood you can really smell and the amber, gold and amber too, you know, that kind of golden smell, uh, like a musky amber. Uh, it, it was nice. Anyway, I did it in the bedroom and then I ended up using the rest in the bathroom and this did really well in the bathroom. I used one and a half cubes in that same alabaster warmer and it goes a couple of days. This one actually performed well in there and like I said, it's a challenging space. So if you have any of this, that's a good spot to use it. So I have one more bar. I might save it till next summer and use it again in my bathroom. Then my camper. I did tons of wax. I, I did all of the uh, harvest bundle in my camper. Um, I did like, well, a lot of the bars here, I did one or two cubes, but one of the, the two of the bars that I just used in my camper all summer was butter pecan. This is uh, candy pecans, uh, maple and butter. I love this one. It's in my club, in my husband's club. Um, which I skipped, so I haven't had a shipment for ooh, ages, and it's um, not coming till October, but I think I have one bar left. Anyway, very good in the camper. Creamy, buttery, you know, even in hot weather, it was nice. So I warmed that in my camper, and then, of course, maple apple bourbon. <laughs> I've warmed this all summer. This is maple apple bourbon. You know, one cube in each warmer in my camper. Really cozy. And my granddaughters would say, yeah, it smells like pancakes in here. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what they thought it smelled like. So it was really yummy. Anyway, camper bars. Then uh, I have that overnight warmer for you. Those of you that are new, I, I did get the diamond milk glass warmer. Uh, it has no light. It's an element warmer. And I put it at my bedside. And I turn off all my warmers in my main, all my warmers in my house at about 1030 at night, 10, 1030. And then I turn on that overnight warmer. That's the only warmer going at night. It's right on my bedside table. So I always look for something kind of soothing there. And I don't want it to be, I don't, I often, I've tried florals. I find them a little too, like, I've got, you know, I dream in, in, in my sleep and I think I smell flowers <laughs> in my sleep dreams. So I like to try it to keep it sort of, well, let me show you what I did. I did uh, Pinkberry Fluff in my overnight warmers four times, like not all in a row, but over the summer, pink berry, marshmallow, vanilla bean. 
So it's kind of pretty, but has a little marshmallowy note. And the vanilla, so it was creamy, and it wasn't so strong. So you could put like, you know, a couple cubes in the warmer, one cube often, but in the summer one, in the air conditioning and fans and things, I, I might double up sometimes to two cubes. Anyway, this was excellent in the overnight warmer, if you have any of that. White sands. I did this in the bathroom and in my bedroom and then in overnight warmers. Um, this one was in my club. This was in the Bring Back My Bar last time, I think in June. Yes. And uh, I really like it. It is jasmine, night blooming jasmine, coconut milk, and rice. It's pretty. It's not strong enough. I did it in my bedroom. It's very subtle in my bedroom, uh, but very pleasant. Uh, and then I did it in the bathroom, but that was a dud in the bathroom. It's just not, you, there's not enough complexity for, for that room that, that's challenging to begin with. So then I did the rest in my overnight warmers and it was nice there, but again, I needed two cubes. Uh, so I did take this out of my club. I had it in my club for a hot minute. I think I have about three bars. And since I'm gonna be really limited where I use it, I think those three bars will, will do me. It's a very, very pleasant scent. It's just, uh, there's just not enough oomph behind it for me, for my taste. And then I've been doing Welcome Home. I have a brick that I have, that I use for my main floor, but I had this bar and I thought I'm gonna use this in an overnight warmer. Oh, love it, love it, love it. It's just um, cinnamon and spices, but it's so, so, so soothing. It's really lovely in the overnight warmer. So I, over the course of the, you know, I, I think I used a little bit of it in the summer and then um, a couple cubes in the last couple weeks. So really nice. I really like it over the night warmers. Next is things I did in the bedroom. Plum and White Woods. This is in my club for now. I really like it. Raspberry preserves, down some plum and vanilla orchid. It's very pretty, uh, very pretty. And it does really well in the bedroom. Um, yeah, it was, it's quite lovely. So I've done this in the bedroom. I did do it in the lady parlor once, uh, but I think this is a good bedroom scent. It's strong enough, but not overpowering. It's pretty, it's soothing. Um, I love the plum scent and even the vanilla orchid. It adds that pretty floral edge. Anyway, it was a bring back my bar as well in June and uh, I have it in my club for now. I think I have, I have maybe two bars. I might haul another couple and then take it out. It's going to be a bedroom scent for me. Uh, red Current Wreath. I did half in the bedroom and half in my lady parlor. This is a new bar, one of the new bars. Red Current, Winter Berries, Evergreen, and Sandalwood Branches. Now, in here right now, I can smell sandalwood. I don't know. Sandalwood Branches. Is that sandalwood? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, um, I like it. I like it. It smells like a very uh, evergreen wreath scent we've had. Uh, I wish I could smell the sandalwood, this sandalwood I'm smelling on in here uh, when I was warming it, but I didn't really. I think on the second, when I warmed it in my lady parlor on the end of the second day, uh, or during the second day, it smelled a little more of sandalwood, but very nice. Uh, will I haul another one? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Pink Haze. Top 10 bar for me. I love, love, love this. I had it in my club I lost. Came back and bring back my bars. I sn snapped it up. It's in my club. And I never have. This is my last bar. Uh, some of my girl gang love Pink Haze. So I gift it a lot. Like my sister, I gave her one of these in her birthday bundle. You know, people love it. So uh, it's berries, nectarine, vanilla, whipped cream, and marshmallow fondant. And it's just pretty. It's pretty. It doesn't smell like food marshmallow. It smells like perfume marshmallow. And I've had tons of compliments from people when I've warmed it in my living. I warm it in my living room too. I haven't lately because I have no bars. <laughs> this one I warmed in my bedroom in my office. Uh, I did it while I was doing a combination here of, um, well, uh, I did a cashmere and corduroy warm. I'll talk about 
in a minute. I did that in my bedroom in my uh, lady parlor while I was doing that warm. Anyway, love, 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 love this one. Fave, fave. Um, I just warmed Darling. It's actually in my uh, lady parlor and bedroom now. I did half in the bedroom, half in the lady parlor. It is vanilla, creamy mahogany, and fresh night skies. And when I'm warming it, it smells like something. It smells like, it smells so familiar. I just can't put my finger on what it is. Uh, maybe a little bit like of love and happiness without the chestnut, the creamy vanilla. Anyway, it's very pretty, very pretty. I will say though, in my lady parlor, it's now day two, early in day two, and I, it's a very, very light. It was never a boomer in there. It was very pleasant though. Very nice to sit in there. You know, I read in there and it was very pleasant and it's very nice in the bedroom. I have another bar. I'm gonna warm it maybe in the living room and really try it, but I don't think it's gonna stand up to a large space. It's very subtle, very pretty though. So definitely a repurchase for me, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's something in the, notes that it's very calming very nice so definitely a repurchase i don't think it's an open concept bar for me but we'll see uh i got to speed it up a little um next is office i did office i did what vitamin relax this is in my club as well bergamot vanilla sugar and warm amber amber oh i love this I, this is super soothing very nice this was in the all as well collection and they brought back a couple of others and they are bringing this one. And this one is, I wonder, I think amber. Maybe it's an amber, I don't know, is an essential oil that is uh, pricey. Maybe they make decisions a little bit based on how much it costs to make the bar. I don't know, I really like it. It's in my club, it'll stay there. And then Palo Santo and Cinnamon. I talked about this in my last video. This is the one of the new bars, my favorite. I did half in the bedroom half in the office. Very, very nice. Definitely a repurchase. Very, it's Palo Santo for sure, but very nice, like a sweet Palo Santo, not too woody. And then the cinnamon bark and the clove leaf give a little bit of spiciness, but it, the bergamot is creamy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, this one, Woodland Suede, I did in the office in the bedroom. Uh, red oak, smoky cedar, suede, and musk. This was from a Bring Back My Bar last January. It's in my club, love it. It is suede, it is suede like uh, Ravenclaw suede. It's suede like vanilla suede. I mean, different notes, but that same sort of, you know, uh, sophisticated, sophisticated kind of creaminess, very nice. Uh, speaking of Ravenclaw, this is my club too, love it. This is a Harry Potter, my favorite one. And this is my, oops, this is my, my Potter house. I'm at a Ravenclaw suede, sandalwood, vanilla. I did that in the bedroom in the lady parlor. Oh, I love this one. I hauled a couple of extra. It's in my club though, but I wanted to, you know, I use a whole bar usually when I use it. Highly recommend if you like kind of suede notes. Uh, then I did um, Here Come the Sunflowers toward the, must have been toward the end of August. Sunkissed petals, fruity musk, and strawberry. Oh, that's right. I did half of this in the bedroom. Very nice. And then I did a warm, um, I'll talk about the, I did this with my wish, which is in this pile here. Very nice in, um, in the laundry room while I was doing my wish in the family room. Really, really nice. That's a summer bar in the summer catalog. Dumbo did this one in the bathroom and the bedroom. Uh, I'm not as in love with it as everyone else. Clementine, creamy peach, mango, vanilla bean. It's nice, it's pretty, kind of cute. Uh, a little too syrupy, if I can say that, I don't know. I know a lot of people love it and it was pleasant. It was nice in the bedroom. I, I just don't have a, and I in the bathroom it did okay, but it was short and short lived in the bathroom. I think it just, it did really well for like, you know, part of day one, but. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I don't know if I would pay an extra 50 cents for it though. Yeah, it's, anyway, I know I'm in the minority on that one. And then my family room. Now my family room is, 
I don't have a TV up here in my living room. I have a TV in my lady parlor, and then we have a family room with a big TV over the fireplace. That's sort of our, you know, hangout TV space with my, you know, books. I have books down there, and you know, anyway, I like a really cozy scent in my family room, even in the summer, because it's really cool down there in the summer, almost freezing cold when you have air conditioning on. Uh, and then starting now, it's like, I like it to feel cozy and welcoming. And um, so anyway, did love and happiness down there. This was a bring back my bar in uh, June of 2022, I think. I had it at my club for a while, so hard to tell. Glazed chestnut, vanilla, and sugar cane. I did this in the family room. Very nice. Now, this is, I know this is a popular bar. It was very, very pretty. Kind of pretty, chestnutty, creamy, you know, nice and cozy. It's one of those bars which I had in my club. Uh, I took it out of my club making room for other things and I liked it so much. But, you know, sometimes you warm it a few times and you get, you know, I think I probably had about four bars of this. Uh, this, I think, is my last one. I don't know. I kind of, it kind of wore off <laughs> for me. You know, it was nice. But it wasn't, it didn't wow me. It doesn't wow me anymore. Even though it's very, it's a, all the notes are, you know, I love chestnut and vanilla and, you know, creamy, chestnutty, yeah, prettiness. But yeah, it just goes to show you, it sometimes it doesn't take that long. And you, uh, the one that did, I love down there, my wish. This was from the Bring Back My Bars, just, we just had in June, I believe. I had this in my club several years ago. It was also a Bring Back My Bar. Bar, earthy fig, sweet violet, marshmallow. I did it in my family room and my guest rooms downstairs. Oh, this was lovely. It's a very nice, that's the perfect room for this scent. It's got that earthy fig and then um, the marshmallow and a bit of violet to make it, you know, sort of pretty. It's very nice down there. I, I don't like it as much up in my main area, but I really like it down there. So I, I, I don't have it in my club, but I did haul about I think I have three more of these and I will use them all winter down there because it was very lovely. Uh, Harry Potter, I just did that one down there, Wizarding World. This is citrus, green apple, mahogany woods, and uh, vanilla and amber. I did it all through my family room and laundry. It is a powerhouse. It is got a slight, slight, not masculine, yeah, a woody masculine, not like a cologne masculine, but kind of a woodiness. Very good performer down there. It actually is a perfect, that room with, you know, the wainscoting and the bookshelves and, you know, it suits the room for sure. <laughs> yeah, very nice. I'll definitely be hauling more of that. I don't use a lot and I my husband really likes in his man cave as well. So, you know, between the ba the family room downstairs and his man cave, we'll probably go through a few bars. And right now going down there is cinnamon pine cone. This was a scent of the month, December, I think, and it's made it into the catalog. Pine cones for balsam sweet cinnamon stick. It's very nice down there. And we, <laughs> and we had the plumber here to fix something and he was up in a tile in that room and he commented. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's a very, it's a very perfect for that room as well. I love it in my living room. I love it all over my house. So this is a favorite. It's in my club. Well, it was in my club. Now I don't have to worry about it because I can buy it. Now we're getting to the main living space. Things that I warmed through my living room kitchen. And I usually try to do a scent in the living room and coordinate something more foody in the kitchen. Uh, sometimes though, lately I've been doing the whole section, but uh, a peeling apple. This is apple, pear, sweet pea. This is a very nice apple. I enjoyed it. It's been hot here. Like today it is like, you know, maybe more fall wet weather, but oh, it's been hot. It's been hot even the first half of September. So um, it's been challenging trying to, oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> anyway, a peeling apple. must have been something I sniffed. <laughs> and then in my kitchen, I did um, Dutch apple bread. And this is one of the new, um, one of the bars in the Harvest Collection. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
uh, sliced fresh apple, warm cinnamon brown sugar rolled oats. I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. It, it, um, it smells cidery. It's very cidery and sharp cider, not a sweet cider. And uh, so I thought I'd add cinnamon, sticky cinnamon bun to it and see what it did. It added a bit more cinnamon, but sticky cinnamon bun, which is just cinnamon, sweet icing, and nutty nuances. There's not enough sweetness in sticky cinnamon bun. It helped it though. It ha did make it better. So that was a combination I did. Um, I've got wax all over my table. Uh, one of the mixes that I did all through my main floor, alternating warmers, and this was recommended by Liz, Liz Quinn. She did it, and so I tried it, is vanilla blackberry. This one was the scent of the month in August, I think in 2021. It's one of my favorite bars. It's in my club, blackberry, amber, vanilla. Very strong blackberry. The amber gives it a almost a like a woodiness or something. And the vanilla makes it a little bit sweet. And my girl gang loved this. I gift this one. My sister, again, in her scent bundle for her birthday, she got a couple of these. She loves this bar. Anyway, it's one of my favorites. And I don't have extras. This is it. And now I'm going to wait till my club ships to get another one. Anyway, I did this in alternating warmers with Vanilla Waves. Now that one's not available anymore. I have, I didn't club it. I have about three bars I think left. Anyway, Vanilla Waves is just sea salt with vanilla and sticky caramel. Oh, so she recommended that, alternating warmers, and oh, it was so, so lovely. Cause this is a strongish, salty caramel vanilla and then this is a strong sort of earthy vanilla blackberry it was so so nice highly recommend um then i did uh, i did red white and berry pie i have several of these i really like it cherry raspberry and vanilla i did this in the main floor and the kitchen and in the kitchen, I did a couple of warmers with this, and then I did vanilla bean buttercream in the other warmers. And with the vanilla bean buttercream in the kitchen, I added a cube of <laughs> cucumber lime. Now you'd think that cucumber lime and <laughs> red, white, and berry pie, but it was kind of a, the, adding the vanilla to this, which is just uh, ripe cucumber, uh, tangy lime, and mint. Not very minty though, mostly cucumber and lime. Anyway, it, you can smell the cucumber and you can smell the lime. And then adding a bit of vanilla to it gave it a creamier, citrusy lime. And then having this really uh, rather intense berry cherry with a bakery note. It was quite nice, actually. And I did this, I did do part of this bar in my uh, lady parlor at the same time. So it was a summery, it was a hot day warm and it was really nice. I wanted something that smelled kind of yummy but at the same time worked with a the heat. Then I did, uh, this is from my Pinterest board uh, suggestion, Someone I put, posted it on there. It is um, Bonfire Beach which is toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty sea air. Um, I did this all through my living room alternating with summer moonlight which is um, Strawberries, sweet pea, and sandalwood. Both are favorites of mine. From so These are my two favorite bars from the summer, and they're the only two summer bars I have in my club to safeguard. Love, love, love Bonfire Peach. Love uh, Summer Moonlight. And I will, I'll warm Summer Moonlight in the winter. It's a great bedroom scent. Anyway, that was so, so lovely and long lasting. I mean, Bonfire Beach did last a little longer than Summer Moonlight, but it was very nice together. And it was, that was, I did this on the weekend. It was 30 degrees outside, which is in the eighties for my American friends. And um, yeah, it was so nice. Highly recommend. Um, then I did Vanilla Suede. This is my one of my favorite, favorite bars. <laughs> Top 10, vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and spice. And the only thing I would, I would love to have as well is vanilla oud. Oh, so lovely. Anyway, I did this in my living room, all through my living room. Oh, it was so nice. Oh, I, it's so nice, so suede -y and 
and rich in the sound of wood and the amber. Oh, so nice. I did the Ravenclaw in the bedroom while I was doing, in the fam, uh, lady parlor. And then in the kitchen, I did an, a combination of uh, alternating warmers, almond croissant and vanilla bourbon. And I have a couple cubes left of each. This is in my club, almond croissant. It smells like almond croissants. And then vanilla bourbon. This was a Father's Day offering. They brought it a few times. When it first came out, I, um, it just, it was too light. But this one I got in July of 2022 and I just warmed it. And I actually am using a couple of cubes in my overnight warmer right now. And I'll probably use these two again in my overnight warmer. Oh, it's much better, performing much better. So this one definitely did benefit from sitting around for a while. I'm not very patient for letting things sit around, so, but this is very good. Um, next, I did another combination. This was from Angie on her channel. She recommended cashmere and corduroy and scarlet sunflower one to one. So I just did this not long ago, a couple days ago. Vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Love, love, love cashmere and corduroy. Love it. This is a great bar. And then scarlet sunflower, which I warmed all summer. I hauled this and warmed it in the summer. I loved it. It's apple, cranberry, and sunflower. Anyway, one to one in the same warmer on a hot day. Very nice. I got a bit of the creaminess, like autumn creaminess of cashmere and corduroy, and then added the so, and this is, both of these are, are fall winter bars. So definitely a nice warm, uh, not super long lasting. I think cashmere and corduroy, you know, held out a little longer, but definitely a nice two day warm for me. Like I don't leave my warmers on 24 seven. I leave them on like, you know, eight, seven thirty till 10 30, but it was a good for two days. Almost done. Um, I did pumpkin, a white pumpkin and driftwood. This is one of the harvest bars. Uh, white pumpkin, driftwood, white cardamom, and solar amber. I did this, one, this in the living room in the foyer. And it was very nice. A slight masculine note, like not a cologne note, but more of a masculine um, body wash sort of level of masculine. With the white pumpkin and a little tiny hint of spice, but not much. It was very pleasant. And then in the kitchen, I did pumpkin cinnamon swirl, which is just a pumpkin cinnamon bun, basically. Cinnamon bun more than even pumpkin. Anyway, I did this in the dining room here and in the kitchen. So very nice together. This was very pleasant. It was a good company. This would be a good company scent because it wasn't super strong. It, it smelled kind of like a you know, a fancy store or a fancy hotel lobby. It had, you know, it had that, it has a sophisticated note to me. And then this uh, pumpkin cinnamon bun, cinnamon swirl together, very nice. Okay, last one, and then I'll do a fave and a fail. This uh, cashmere leaves. I did this um, in the living room. I've, it's still in there right now. And then I've got a bunch of testers. I'm using up some of my old fall testers that you know no one took. And I think I've got like pumpkin chai in one, cider mill in one, another pump, farm stand pumpkin. So that's warming now with the cashmere leaves in the living room. This is uh, from the autumn uh, uh, harvest collection rather. Very nice. It's got the falling leaves, apples, and the cashmere spice. And the apples and the falling leaves sort of smell like, um, what's that bar in the catalog? Fall apple, with the apple, falling apples, or I can't remember, sorry, I should. Anyway, it sort of has that note, but it has this cashmere spice that gives it a creaminess. I'm warming it in my living room. It did really well yesterday. It was about you know, it was quite good. It was a, a, a slightly above medium in my living room for about six hours. Toward the end of the day, I noticed it was more subtle, but still there. If you walked into the house, you got a pleasant sort of, you know, autumn -y, creamy spice scent, but subtle. And today, I'm hard pressed to smell it in the living room. So this might be a bar that does, isn't really geared for a living room 
When I did it in my motorhome, it lasted really well all day and I could have left it in again the next day because I was quite strong, but that's a small little space. So I think this is a small space bar. Um, I'll play around with it a bit, but um, I like it. It was my favorite in that bundle, but <coughs> excuse me, let me take a sip of water. Anyway, it, it, um, it's slightly disappointing in performance, but I really like the scent of it. But you know what? There's quite a few good autumn scents out there. So I have it temporarily in my club. I want to haul a few more and I noticed that it sold out. So uh, they're restocking it in October. Sorry about that. I had to actually shut off the camera. I was like, had a little mini coughing fit there. Anyway, how unprofessional of me. Anyway, let's continue. I was saying, now it's time for my fave and a fail. I'll start with my fail. This bundle isn't a fail. It's just sections of it. Um, I warmed one of my favorite bars of all time, Cedar Cider, in my living room. I love, love this one. It performs well. Apple, cinnamon stick, vanilla bean, white cedar. One of my favorite bars. I'll be warming the heck out of this. I did this all through my living room and foyer. This one is not the fail. <laughs> Uh, my fail is I was trying to think of something to warm in the kitchen with it. So I thought, you know, I'm going to do a combination. Friends, which I had warmed already by itself and I didn't like it. I thought I, I had a half a bar. I thought, let's use it up. This is double espresso, fresh brewed coffee and coconut cream. And it doesn't smell like fresh brewed coffee or espresso. It smells a bit like coconut cream. It smells to my nose like uh, puff wheat cereal in cream. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it was a dud. So I thought, well, you know what? I had a bit of hug and a mug. Now hug and a mug is no longer with us. Um, I had some bars uh, in my stash and I put it in my hack club, uh, which I haven't received yet. Um, and then I used it camping. It's uh, chocolate, hazelnut and cookie dough. It's a very hot chocolate. It smells like hot chocolate, but it's very intense. And I was warming it in my camper this year and I found it a little bit cloying. I even thought my grandkids would like it, but it was a bit too much, you know, maybe the hot weather, hot chocolate. Anyway, now I've taken it out of my hat club because I've got Mocha Doodle moved into the fall winter catalog and they're close enough. And I find Mocha Doodle a little subtler. Anyway, I had some of that. so I. Combine these. Oh, it was horrible. Uh, cloying hot chocolate with sort of puff wheat, <laughs> not coffee, kind of a weird creamy bar. That weird creamy went into this and it was just, no. <laughs> it did not make the day. And I have, I think I have another bar of this. I think I have another one. Uh, I'm going to try mixing it with coffee when we get another coffee scent, but I don't know. Anyway, this was a, this was my fail right here. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was kind of disappointed in Hug and Mug, although it, it smells like hot chocolate. It does smell like that. But so I took it out and I put in caramel apple craze with the cedar cider and that was perfect. So there you go. Caramel apple craze just smells like caramel apple uh, and it's got whipped vanilla, but it's like a really good, excellent blend of the caramel apple and the apple, you know, very yummy. So that was my fail. Friends and hug in a mug. <laughs> Don't try it. <laughs> my fave is uh, winter berry apple tea. <laughs> now this has been around for ages and I've loved it. I've always really liked it, but I haven't warmed it. I don't think I warmed it last winter. I don't think, I think maybe I warmed it once. I don't remember warming it. Anyway, I dug it out. I put it in my family room. Winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. And I did it in my laundry room and family room. And my, oh, I went down there. I just did it last week. Oh, it was so lovely. It has that winter tea. It's not like black tea. It's like a spice tea that you would have, you know, on a cozy winter night, like a spice tea. And then you get the apple. I don't get any cranberry. Maybe it keeps it from being too cloying. And then the honey, the honey does come out. It was every time I walked down there, I smiled. It was so lovely. 
I forgot how lovely it is. So I'm definitely, I think I have a bar in my stash, another one, but I'm definitely gonna, going to be warming that this winter. I forgot how lovely it was. So this is my favorite from this warm and a kind of a pleasant reminder uh, that I liked it. So anyway, that is my, what I've been warming. I went a little longer than I had hoped, but hopefully you got some good ideas and things to avoid from my experiences. Um, I am going to do a little video. I'm going to attach, not attach it to this one, but I'm going to load it up after this one. Hope you guys can all watch it. It's going to be some personal news and uh, I'll put it up probably the same time as this one. I'm going to park this one because I've just, just loaded up a video today and I'll wait a few days, to put this one up. Anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching and let me know what you thought of some of these bars. Are any of them your favorites or, and I know a lot of people tried the Friends bar and it was a big dud, but was there anybody out there that liked it? <laughs> I'd be curious. Uh, and if you did, did you mix it with something? Or, Cause I, I think I have one or two bars left, so I wouldn't mind some tips on how to use them up. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you later. Bye.